on the season premiere of America East on campus. The march to march has begun. Will it be BU or a title for Vermont or will Albany claim the crown? We'll sort out the men's race as conference play heats up. Will it be three player of the year awards in a row for Vermont star Marcus Blakely? He's ready to trade in any accolades for a title. I'm more focused on going to the NCAA tournament. And, I mean, that's one thing that I haven't accomplished. We'll look at women's hoop. Vermont is poised for a repeat. Hartford ready to return to the top. And Binghamton, UNH, and others are ready to have their turn in the spotlight. Tournament changes and the state of the league offered up by Commissioner Patrick Nero. And in best of you, they were the best scorers in the nation. Teammates at UMBC who had an unforgettable season. Those stories and more next on America East on campus. From Patrick Gymnasium on the campus of the University of Vermont in Burlington, we welcome you to season number five of America East on campus, the home of the 2009 America East women's basketball champions. And welcome inside Patrick Jim. I'm your host, Eric Fried, and we welcome you to a new season of America East on campus. The men and women of the University of Vermont are both on the short list of championship contenders in America East again this season. We'll take a closer look at what's to come in women's basketball in just a few minutes, but first we begin with our men's preview. Vermont is in the mix. Boston University is in the mix. Non-conference play is over. Let's take a look at the nine teams of the America East Conference. The core group at Boston University hasn't been together forever. It just seems that way to the other eight teams in the league. Senior Corey Lowe is a perennial all-conference selection. Tyler Morris, a senior point guard whose battled injury is back, as is Carlos Strong, a senior who's been a key reserve. Junior John Holland can compete for the league's Player of the Year award and add in Jake O'Brien, a sophomore who fit in right away as America East Rookie of the Year last season. Who's new? The head coach. Former Villanova assistant Pat Chambers inherits a veteran group for his first head coaching job. Even though the Terriers were the preseason pick to win the title, there's a long list of teams in the hunt. Leading the pack is Vermont and the two-time Kevin Roberson Player of the Year Marcus Blakely. He averaged nearly a double-double in games leading up to conference play. And with Maurice Joseph upping his scoring, they give Vermont a potent one-two punch. I think there's a lot of room for improvement on our team. We are very inconsistent uh, in different parts of the game. Some days we're a great rebounding team, sometimes we're a great defensive team. Even our shooting's been inconsistent, so uh, we just have to hopefully put it all together by the time conference games will really come around and start mattering. Defense and rebounding will still be the key words for Albany, but they'll have a little more scoring punch this year with Tim Ambrose and a healthy Will Harris leading a team that on paper is deeper than last year's semifinalists. We have a chance to be very good. Uh, you know, we've got better talent this year. Uh, I really like our depth, and the biggest thing is I think we're going to have an easier time scoring the basketball. Stony Brook snuck up on everyone a year ago, relying on a talented freshman class. The Seawolves made a huge turnaround. Now the question is, can they take the next step? We got some veterans, we got some young guys, we got to blend in with them. Uh, but you know, it's the first time I've gone into a season feeling like we got some pieces in place. UNH was less than a minute away from hosting last year's championship game. So they're talking about the next step too. And they have the players to take them there with Alvin Abreu, Tyrone Conley, and Dane Delegro, the key three. If you're going to compete for a championship, in any conference, which is our ultimate goal, you have to do it with older, veteran, experienced guys. Hartford was derailed 10 games into last season when first-team all-conference selection Joe Zaglinski went down for the year with an injury. He's back. The question is, can he bring the Hawks with him and have them positioned for a tournament run when they host the championship in March? After playing in the title game each of the last two years, it's a time of transition for UMBC, but they are still expecting to be competitive just in a different way. I think we'll have to be good by committee, but I do believe that the, the youngsters that we have in our program will definitely be, uh, be a, an integral part of what we're trying to do. Maine has one of last year's top freshmen back to take a step forward as a sophomore. Gerald McLemore is one to watch. He's playing uh, great basketball. He's really become a go-to guy for us. Shoots the ball at a very high level. One of the hardest workers that we've had since I've been at Maine. Uh, and really works hard on both ends of the court. Needless to say, it's a transition year for Binghamton, but a handful of familiar players like Crescian Lacusa are on hand to lead the Bearcats back. And with so many teams with key players in place, 
it will be a wide open run for the title. And in the eyes of just about everyone, anyone's title to win. Trying to weave his way inside. And a pass. More men's basketball when we come back. He's been the king of the court for the last two years. Will it be a senior year to remember for Vermont star Marcus Blakely? Followed by Blakely again! 